Yeah, I don't Welcome back, guys. Um, well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Central PA Outdoorsman. Today we're on a little stream that we like to fish. It's loaded with native brookies, some wild browns, and some stock fish in places. But we're chasing browns and brooks, particularly. Um, we got a good snow coating um, from yesterday on the ground here. It's actually pretty mild out for winter time. It's around 30-ish degrees, 30 low 30 degrees, um, but. We're super pumped to be out here. We got Rem to my left, and we got Logan over here at the stream. Um, we've missed about two fish so far. No, we haven't landed one, so hopefully we're going to be connecting here soon. But it's a gorgeous day, so stay tuned for more. All right, guys, what's up? It took forever, but we finally landed our first one. Little native rookie right there. Don't want to freeze up his gills. Pretty looking fish, really, really is. Good, good little brookie. Took forever. We finally got that guy. Look how pretty he is. Great looking native brook. Yes! Check out him. Great looking fish for the underwater. All right, guys, so we're just fishing this run here and uh, just connected on this beautiful, really heavy brook trout in PA here. Caught him on the Rainbow Warrior Nymph that I tied up. Look how pretty he is. Let's see if I can get a better shot of him. He does have a big belly on him. Right there. Look at that guy. So we're gonna get him unhooked here.
guys, third fish of the day here. This is my first. Just hooked up with this real tiny brook trout. Super pretty colors. All right, let's get him back in. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get an underwater release. All right, guys, we were just walking out of the woods here. We're done fishing, and we've been joking around about finding a shed all day. And we didn't find a shed, but we did find this deadhead right here. I picked it up. I thought it was a shed. All I saw was this side sticking up, but it is a deadhead. It looks like it's an eight point. Yeah, Jack, do you want to pick it up? Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty decent eight point Basket. for the mountain buck around here. Yeah, pretty good sized. But probably about ten inch spread. Yeah, not not too bad. G two to G two. I thought it was a shed because all I saw was that these top three sticking up. It was sticking up like it this. It was buried and the in, rest the snow. Was in the snow. I was so excited. We were literally just talking about sheds. But I uh, found this. You're not allowed to take a dead head here in PA, so we are just gonna leave it sit, unfortunately. Um it's a shame. I mean I wonder how this buck died. All we all I really see is the head around i don't see any other bones so i don't know if maybe illness or got shot and nobody found it or what but that's a shame all right guys we just got back to the car after today uh well we spent about five hours fishing oh yeah at least five hours fishing it was tough uh we caught three he caught two i caught one our buddy had a rough day didn't catch any uh he left already um overall i mean we had a good day out in the woods we found that dead head um caught those three nice brook trout and overall i mean it's a good start for the fly fishing year first trout of the year for me first trial of the year for, for me uh learned a lot about the stream for the winter time uh but we're excited to get back on this one in the spring and summer uh pr probably wait for some high water to get on this again and give it a little while to rest but we didn't fish it up too hard yeah. uh, all considering um, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to get out and explore some more streams for some more videos for you guys. Yeah, we have lots of streams planned for this year. Bucket list to catch some fish from, so we should get at them. Yep, I'm good. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like.